All right, here is chromatic etude. Now the very first thing we need to deal with is the fingering on how we play that chromatic scale at the very beginning. My preference on this is that we're gonna to shift to second position. So let's look at the fingering, this is the very first measure. O, low one, your second finger is gonna go on your first finger tape, third finger B flat. Now at this point you're gonna to shift to first finger B natural, so your third finger tape, then second finger on your fourth tape, third finger C sharp, fourth finger D. So this is what that finger looks like. O, low one, two, three, shift. One, two, three, four. So let's play that with separate bows really quick. Here we go, ready? Ready, and a set, and go. That's probably the easiest way that I can think to do that because it's only two shifts. Instead of going oh, one, low one, one, low two, three, four, then you, you, that's three different movements. So I think that this is just the easiest way. So now let's put it in a slur. We're just going to do that little chromatic scale. Ready, go. Oh, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And then the next part, your first finger is still on the B. <laughs> So you're, it's really, it really fits into your hand really well. Let's try that again. We're going to do measure one only. One E and a ready go now. All right, let's try that again. Now, by the way, measure one and measure two are exactly the same thing. And then if you skip ahead to measure four, the fingering on the D string, same exact thing we're doing on the G string. So super duper easy. The measure five is the same as measure one. The fingering for measure six is the same as measure one. Um, then it, it varies just a little bit in the very, very end. So I'm teaching you the fingering. You pretty much use the entire piece. All right, so let's try from the very, very beginning. Here we go. Ready and set and go. Shift. Again, it's kind of the same fingering we've been doing the entire time. The only time where it gets a little different is the very first measure of the last line. Let's look at that measure really quick. So we're going to go down, up, first finger C sharp, two, four, two. Now the next note is the C natural, so you have to start reaching back. Then the next note's an F sharp. So if your first finger's on the C natural, second finger would be on the F sharp, third finger would be on the G, fourth finger would be on the G sharp. So that makes that part really super easy. So let's try that again. So we're gonna go open. One, two, one, two, four, two, one, two, three, four, oh, one, oh, four. Then it's regular fourth finger from there. So chromatic etude is a great piece. It's really, really wonderful for making you just move step by step by step, half steps. I mean, it's, it's just fantastic for you. And it really teaches you all the notes on your cello. All right, thank you so much.